Okay, this is the reading for the Pisces female couples. Okay, so if you're in a coupled relationship, this is the reading for you. Um, I'm doing the anchor spread. It's a spread I made up myself. Uh, I'll post it at the end of the video. You could see the whole all the cards in succession here. But uh, um, the first card, I'm just going to jump right in. First card I get is the Ten of Swords. Man, this is popping up in every reading here. The Ten of Swords is, I mean, we've got a man here dropping a flower. The woman's asleep, so is he not wanting her to know who dropped that flower or what? What's going on? We don't know. If you're in the relationship, it's almost like I'm getting a sense that this man is not wanting to show her exactly how he feels about her is not willing to sh to expose everything he's willing to let her feel there's a flower there he's, she's been um admired there's an admiration here but he's not willing to let him see her to let her see him dropping that she's waiting till she's asleep he's you know kind of behind the scenes doesn't want to expose everything in the full light of day then we get the seven of swords, which is so interesting. It, it's, um, you know, it can say progression here. The ten of swords, right? Because normally that's the, the, not even the burden, but the betrayal card, like being stabbed in the back, right? But the depiction here is gentle. He's leaving a, you know, he may be trying to apologize for wrongs that he's done. But he doesn't want to face her because he knows he's going to get, you know, it may be one of those. So the Seven of Swords is really about the bedroom activity. There's nothing going on there. It's stopped. So um, there's there's a want on the, on the side of the male to go in there and kind of straighten things out. But they can't make headway. You know, nobody's willing to communicate properly. That's kind of what's going on here. Now, the next card I get for the Romance Tarot is the Wheel. So know that this relationship is faded. Uh, in case you don't know why you're going through this, what's going on, there's lessons here, big ones to be learned and to take away from. So if you have learned them, you can, you can look at that and say, yes, I've learned. Or you can, um, I mean, we got the fool right next to it. So we've got the wheel on the romance, which to me is stating, you know, this is faded. This is meant to happen. So don't think we can just brush this off um, or put this aside. This has to be dealt with. Now, the next card I get is the fool. So that's really turning your back and going in a different direction, not wanting to deal with what's here. So the, the female that's in the coupled relationship, feeling like they're ready to walk, they're going off, not ready. They are walking in a different direction, looking. Where are they headed? Five of wands. They're headed where they're going to get attention. But yet there's a man here that's still refusing to show everything. Now, is it a progression of the same man? It's interesting. He's wearing the blue, the same blue as the, the ten. But I don't see it as, as being the same man. But who knows, it could be. Um, we have this woman who is in this burlesque show, right, or whatever's going on here, the dancers. She's taken her time out to pay attention to this male. She's stopped everything. The girls continue dancing and having fun, and she's paying all her 100% to this man. Now, he's got this bunch of roses behind her. All he gives her is one little rose. So it's like, I'm willing to say that I care, but I can't show you how much I care because that's just uh, too risky, right? Too, I can't give too much of my heart away. So uh, she's taking that in, and there's a, a, an honest try here by both of them. So we'll see where that leads us now. <laughs> Not good. Because we get to the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is interesting because the Five of Wands brings us to mutual communication, mutual. There's a back and forth here. And then when we get to the Queen of Pentacles in the bedroom, there's no, uh, we'll have none of that. We can communicate, but don't ask me for physical because I'm not giving it. I've, my interests are somewhere else. 
maybe not somewhere else, but my mind is not on sex, so I'm not giving you that. You can beg as much as you want, you're not getting it. So that's kind of what I'm feeling, like there's some something going on here. We'll see what we can figure out. The next card I get is the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is about marriage and the white flower, right, symbolizing the purity and, and the truth of the relationship, wanting to know the truth, wanting to seek the truth, wanting to have the truth. And I feel like this is like he's doing this, like truth, this is what we need is God's honest. So <clears throat> that's what we're in search of as the Pisces, female and the couple. That's what you're in search of is the truth. And the Four of Cups comes up. And this is kind of like the stalemate, like, I don't know if I want to continue from here. We really have two people that are not looking at each other. They're looking at the open gate. It's like, we were caged in. There's tools that are out of our reach. We're not striving to reach for them to please the other person. The gate's open. Are we going to go or not? They're just kind of trying to make up their mind. Uh, I think, you know, we're in an impasse here. There's someone in search of the truth. And there's, see where we go here. The next card I get is the Two of Coins. Now, this is interesting. The Two of Coins is about, <laughs> we have these two children, right? Symbolize of, of caring. Like the, the, the boy is trying to reach out and care for the girl. And the girl's like, ah, get away from me. Get away. Like um, that immaturity level in a sense. But nonetheless, you get a sense that no matter where one goes, the other one's going to go as well. Like they're a pair, you know, like they can't live without each other. But, you know, sometimes they just don't get along. So this is the sense I'm getting from this card. Now, the next card I get on the sex side of things is this Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is about grounded, um, earthy sex. You know, sex that you enjoy and it's good and it's comfortable. You're comfortable. They're comfortable. Everybody's in their skin comfortable. And they're, they're, the naked thing is all happening real great in that way <laughs> so there's nothing per se from the past wrong with that okay um yeah so i'll carry on the next card i got is the queen of swords now the queen of swords she's no shit man she ain't gonna listen to your lies your untruths she is i mean and she can cut through a lie into shit like she's just not gonna put up with no shit now she's sitting here and then we go into the love and sex side of things and we get the knave of pentacles so the knave of pentacles is the one he's not quite all in uh he's you know either into the drink or distracted by a lot of other feel-good remedies okay we'll put it that way but that's where he indulges in the sex because that's where he feels comfort. Uh, and the page, or the, sorry, the queen of swords is really just not having it anymore. There's no room for that. They're, they've kind of had enough is the sense I'm getting. Um, like maybe even someone getting drunk and then wanting to have sex. And the, the, the queen is going like, no, nope, no more. Now, the next card I get on the romance side of the tarot is, is the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords is about betrayal. So there may have been someone here that um, it may not be stepping out on the relationship. It may be an untruth. Somebody who is telling an untruth and um, deceived the other person deliberately. And this is being sought out. You know, there's something awry here, and I feel like you're, um, the partner is um, picking up on it or you're picking up on the untruth. Something's coming to the surface. Now, the sexual card I get to clarify is the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is about indulging, but we have a black cat here. So it's almost like we're having sex, but we're not all in. We're not all in because we're kind of just get it over with. Indulging in the, in the passion of it, but not getting all of the levels down the road. So there's like, um, there's a sense here that we're having sex, but not for the right reasons. So indulging. So there may have been a time when we weren't having any sex, and then you just kind of give sex to just give it up, but you're not all in. 
and then there's uh, and it, and it's because you've been betrayed and that's not been dealt with. You've been betrayed, and I feel like it's 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 a situation where you had the your partner had the ability to tell the truth. And they never came forward with the truth. So then they left you struggling and they seen you struggling and they didn't come to help you. And you're, you're still, you're going to find and uncover that truth. And when you do, it's, it's going to be uh, dramatic, but nonetheless, that's really what's tuning things out in the bedroom. You know, you, you give in to the carnal, but you're not enjoying it to the highest ability because you haven't solved the situation that's hanging between you. So you just kind of give it up. Just to scratch that itch, but it's it doesn't do anything for anybody, really. I mean, it does, but it doesn't, you know. So the next card I get is the Four of the Emperor. So we have these Pisces women that are in relationships with someone who's very authoritative. You authoritative, someone who wants to take control, wants to be in charge. And if he can't do that, it is not something that he feels very comfortable with. Now, the next card I get to clarify um, is the stars, 15, 17, the stars from the sex uh, tarot. Now, really what that's about is uh, we have a woman here kind of fawning over the man and the man just absorbing. Now, usually when I get the star card <clears throat> in a sex reading, it's about someone making you feel like the center of the universe someone making you feel like you're the only person in the world like he uh, he can make you feel so uh so much like a star like you're adored like you know all of that so there's there's someone here that is very much in charge uh likes to be in charge and makes you feel good it's it's not completely lost not all ego but it's, um, it's he, he knows how to make you feel good like a woman should in the bedroom. So um, the next card I get is the Page of Pentacles. So, <laughs> and I allotted this card to be the, the guy who's totally got all his tools. He is very capable financially, uh, emotionally, mentally, all areas, physically. He is worthy of a relationship, but he is sitting there gathering his coins, playing his flute, and at any moment he can just saunter off with his no soft feet and take off in any direction. He is grounded and stable within his own self, but he is, he is not attached to no one. And nor does he feel that he has to be. And he does not hide this. This is very much out front. So that's the air that I get here. Is that there's someone here that has a sense of freedom. That I don't know is completely across the board. Now the next card I get to um, expand on the page of coins is the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is about total indulge, indulging in the sexual side of things, catering to your partner, being uh, everything that they want. What do you want? Do you want to indulge in this? Okay, I'll make that happen, and doing that and wanting to please. So there's a sense here of someone that really knows how to make a girl feel special, but they don't want to be tied down. So if well, you're in that relationship with that man. Now, he is very accommodating, very much making you feel. So that is uh, and can be an advancement here. But we, this is the end card. So I don't understand why. Because we really, as we look on here, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Which is, you know, that's, I feel like that's, a symbol of you and the situation that you're in uh, going back and forth with a lot of these maybe ego struggles within the relationship. So I feel like the Pisces female is really wrapped up in this Queen of Pentacles. She's kind of going after her own thing. And in certain moments, she wants to indulge. In certain moments, she doesn't. We also have an air here that, you know what? These two are going to squabble no matter what. 
it's just the way that they work. That's the that's the um, the give and take in this relationship. It's kind of tumultuous. It's kind of dramatic, and it's kind of fiery. And that's the way that it is. And when it's not fiery, there's something wrong. You know, they don't feel comfortable. So we got to take that into account. That's another thing with the green. Now, what worries me is we have the Queen of Swords in her no shit, and then we have the drinking, right? So she's really looking towards the drinking going, are you kidding me? Like, can we not mature past this? Like, so there might be a drinking problem that's kind of come around that's getting a little sad. You know, the Queen's going, okay, that's enough. Can we deal with each other instead of just avoiding? And then uh, throughout that process, somehow we have a, a betrayal here and then a backing off physically. And then, you know, the man is, is coming in and he's going to state his ground again. But the ground is that you can't tie me. I can't be tied and don't try because whatever. But he tends to accommodate her and go back and manipulate the situation. So... I think what the problem is here is that what I'm sensing is that there's a a page of coins here that wants to be set free, but I'm not sure that he understands what that means when that actually happens, okay? <clears throat> because this man, he wants to be in control 100% of the time, yet he does know how to please the woman he's with but he refuses to do so at certain points and that is where you know the all the stuff comes in it's all ego tripping so we gotta keep keep an eye on that now i'm gonna put another two cards here down on that page to find out where he's headed okay so when i do that i get the hierophant in the sex area so we want to lock down the sex area we want to keep that and we want to get to know this person more because we feel like we're just at the beginning. We didn't know enough. We don't know enough. So it's not that this person wants to be set free. It's that they want to accentuate the sex. They want to make the sex better and get into that. Um, make that a routine. Like that's really what I'm getting. Um, <laughs> they want to make sure they don't lose the sex. That's got to be given no matter what. Whether you love me or don't today, we want this. And, I mean, that's kind of not a fair way to look at it, but that's what I'm getting, okay? And then uh, to the romance side, it's like, yeah, we really need to get to know things. And the funny thing is, here we have the, the woman is indulging in the drink. It seems like the, the shoe's on the other foot. So we have there's there's a unique sense of humor about this relationship, yet it's it's kind of balancing out because she'll get mad at him for drinking, but then she'll go turn around when he's all sober and go drink herself to kind of get released. So it's really just them fluctuating in an energy match, I think, is what's going on here. But <clears throat> we really have to be informed. I think the male is at fault here for not letting uh, most of those feelings out. Because uh, what's going on here is we have the man coming in when she's asleep, not wanting her to know how much he cares because, like, she's going to use that against him, right? And then <clears throat> the same thing with the burlesque show. She's going down there paying the attention. Okay, let's get this figured out. And he's still holding back. So you cannot get anywhere when you do that. So you have to let it go or let it go. You have to let the emotions go or you have to let the relationship go. It should be as simple as that. But nonetheless, it seems like there's a stubbornness here. And we continue that bully fight uh, with the ego. And, you know, each person does their little dance. And we end up where we're kind of, you know, back on track. Um, we've took a hit. But we're going to get through it. And things are going to be okay. And we're going to learn a little more about each other as we go on because we got more to learn here and um we don't want to lose all of this specifically the the physical side of this relationship doesn't want to go they're very secure and happy in that so they're going to try and go down that road and hopefully all the other pieces fit in as well we're not just um praying on the physical side we're getting more into the emotional and and that really does it just opens everything up for every other area right i mean when we 
become more aware intellectually of each other there's you know there's things that that can turn on for that I mean it just opens other areas so there's some complex situations for these Pisces females and the couples just really a banter back and forth but it, it seems like there's a certain like you kind of know each other's limits and you push it to the limit. You try and get what you want. The other person's trying to get what they want. But it seems like your partner's really holding back, not willing to share how much they truly do care. So they do have a lot that they're not willing to show you. But it's not that it's not there. It's just they're afraid and feeling vulnerable and feeling weak in that, in that love. So that's something that they've learned not to show it's a weakness to them so that's really where they're coming from so however you want to deal with that you need to understand that that showing love like that is a form of weakness to them and they are just uh torn of how to how to get past that because it's a real fear it's a real fear for them you know um and you know it could be as well just the process of healing you know, there's maybe not healing. There's a lot of baggage. So this is really triggering a lot of that those energies. But I feel like there's a certain energy here where there's an understanding between the, the couple of where their limit is. And they'll go right up to that line and just step on it. You know, just step on it. And then they see in the other person, like, don't you dare go across. Uh, so then they back up and they slowly, you know, resolve. They go and they, they, they play with each other that way. And so it seems to be this little dance that goes on. So for February, that's really what's going on for the Pisces couples, the females. They're doing this little dance and they're, you know, however they end up. Um, seems like we're going to advance into like getting to know the people a little deeper. Uh, whether it's through arguments or through just clear communication. Um, it seems like these two... <laughs> are just meant to be kind of cantankerous. They're meant to be on this earth to be that bickering couple, but they love each other at the end of the day, and that's what counts, right? It's In the bedroom is a different story than in public. In public, they get bicker, and in the bedroom, they're lovey-dovey, and everything's good and golden. And they get out of the bedroom, and it kind of changes. But that's just the dynamic that I'm feeling from these females and their partner. So... Good luck with that over Valentine's Day. Hopefully you get a little break and you get the mushy in there because I feel like the, the male here kind of understands to a certain degree and he's willing to accommodate to a certain degree. So that's what comes through. So hopefully you guys you balance things out. So for the Pisces females, the couples, take care, have fun, and be kind to each other.